Okay, so Mark. All right. I think our first question is in the back right over there. Hi. How's it going? Thank you so much. Hi, my name is Rookie Cornish. I'm with Out Magazine. So, Kim, we Amazing. could not be more excited for you. You are representing our community in ways we have never, ever seen before. Yeah! So, seriously, congratulations. What is going through your head right now as you make this history? Wow, um, all these years are going through my head of people saying I would be a niche artist because I'm transgender and my music would only ever play in gay clubs and what's wrong with that? I love gay clubs, they raised me. But um, anyways, now I'm nominated, for, I got a Grammy for making uh, gay club music with my friend and that's the best feeling in the world. And um, honestly, I, I, I just think that um, people need to judge less and and I hope that there's a future where uh, gender and um, identity and all these labels don't don't matter that much and where people can just be themselves and uh, not get judged so hard and not be labeled so hard. Um, I really hope for that um, because that was a big struggle for me growing up and I hope that the, uh, all the kids that saw this um, uh, that, you know, are, are, are special or different or feel like they don't belong or like they don't... Uh, like they can't conform to the society and they don't have a place in it, feel inspired that, that yes, you can be yourself and uh, get um, rewarded for your talent rather than your gender or your sexuality, you know? Yeah. Love you. Love you. I love Out Magazine. I love you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Our next question is going to be virtual, so on the screen straight ahead from Great. USA Today, Edward. Hello. Hi, Kim. Congratulations. Thank you. How are you? So, I'm good. How are you? I'm great. I got a Grammy. <laughs> <laughs> Tranny with a Grammy. <laughs> you're, receiving, you're receiving this award for your collaboration with Sam Smith. So, what's it like to share this important career milestone with Sam? Wow. Uh, Sam has been an, a very... Uh, special friend and supporter of mine for years at this point. Um, in the very beginning of my career, Sam reached out and said, I'm inspired by you and I would love to make a song with you eventually. And it took us a lot of songs that we sent back and forth that weren't the right fits. And then finally Unholy came along and, and we both were like, this feels like our song and like our little baby. <laughs> so <laughs> so um, we were both, uh, I think, just really into the song. And we're just like, I think the song needs you and I think the song needs it's me and let's do this. So it's really special to share this with someone who's given me such important advice uh, in my life, who's helped me with dealing with um, opinions of people. Uh, and, you know, Sam's been doing this um, for a little while and has so many amazing songs. And I just feel like I've learned so much and I'm so grateful for that. And uh, yeah, Sam will never get rid of me and uh, will always uh, sing the song for eternity. So hell yeah, I'm excited for that. Our next question is also going to be virtual cheddar. Cool. Hi, Kim. Congratulations. I have to say your speech was so, so moving. But on the lighter side, how are you going to celebrate this Grammy win? Ooh, uh, first of all, you look gorgeous. Love the pink. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, well, thank you so much. Well, I, I kind of forgot every single name ever, and I just, like, blacked out. And I'm glad that people are saying that the speech was good, but I need to, like, watch it back and judge it still. So, uh, yeah, thank you, though. Uh, I'm definitely going to go out with Sam. I think this is definitely a night where we just need to be slutty girls and hit the town and drink. Um... <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so yeah, it's it's such a. I never ever thought I uh, would get you know this kind of recognition um, for my music. So it's really special, and I gotta get really really drunk to process it. Love it, thank you. I think we have our next question back left in person over there. Hi Kim. Oh, sure. Hi. Sorry. Hi Kim. How are you? Oh my God, I love you Great. so much. Thank okay. you so much. Woo ah. Uh, yes, Queen. Yeah. Okay, I want to know if there's anybody that you would want to collaborate with. Who would that be? Ooh, um, 
Rosalia, I love her. Um, uh, I, I saw Anita in there. I love Anita's music. And Volver is like one of the most beautiful songs ever. Um, Madonna, of course, it was such a great honor f to have her introduce uh, this award. Um, uh, uh, the performance, I mean, sorry. Uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, I, I love MIA. <laughs> uh, that would be cool. Um, uh, Doja was in there. I love Doja. I mean, I, I just love love being in the room with other creative people who have their own vision and their own identity as artists and creating together. So if any of you guys that had just said would ever be down, like I would die inside if you wanted to. So yeah. Um, but yeah, I just, you know, I, I love artists and I love uh, artists that write especially and I would just love to get in a room and see what we can do. And we love you. Oh, I love you. Thank you. <laughs> Our next question is going to be to your right in the red. Yes. Hi, Kim. I'm Daniela from People Magazine. How's it going? Hi. I just wanted to start off by saying congratulations. And, you know, also on the lighter side, I wanted to ask, do you already have a place where you're going to put your Grammy down? I, I do, <laughs> actually. This is, uh, I, didn't, I didn't think it would happen, but I was like, if I'm going to win this, I'm going to put this right here. It's, it's a spot in my kitchen. Uh, it's this little rhinestone pillow thing that I have, and we're like, we should just put it right here. And so, so yeah, but we were kind of joking around, so I don't know if it can even carry this or if it's big enough. Uh, we'll find out. Um, but I was like, yeah, we need to like get crazy and do a shot out of this eventually, you know? So I think the kitchen is a good spot. And I want to find out if you can do a shot out of a Grammy. So wish me luck. <laughs> you can? <laughs> you tried it? Okay, okay, work. Yeah, yeah, seems very possible. So we'll see. And our last question is going to be up in the front here. Hi, Kim. I'm Elise from Variety. Hi, gorgeous. How's it going? Hi, good. How are you? Um, well, that performance was hot. It was amazing. Tell me a little bit about what went behind it, what the inspiration was, and how did it come together? Okay. Um, it was literally hot. There was so much fire. Um, well... Um, I, th I think a lot of um, people honestly have kind of uh, labeled what I, what I stand for and what Sam stands for as uh, religiously uh, not cool. And uh, I personally grew up wondering about religion and wanting to be a part of it, but then slowly realizing it doesn't want me to be a part of it. And so, um, yeah, it's, it's a take on uh, not being able to choose religion and not being able to, you know, live the way that people might want you to live. Um, because, uh, you know, as a trans person, I'm kind of already not a want it in, uh, in religion. So we were doing a take on that and it was kind of hellkeeper Kim. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, it was so incredible that Madonna introduced it because Madonna is such a uh, pr provocative and uh, groundbreaking artist. Um, uh, and I, I think Sam and I definitely felt very inspired by Madonna in this one. Amazing. Thank you, Thank you so much, Kim. Huge Thank congratulations. You. So fun. Round of applause for Kim.